Hello Architects and welcome back to another RPG Architect tutorial. My name is Bert and today we're going to be taking a little bit of a side quest from our battle system. We will tie it in um, a little bit but we're going to be setting up some options today on our menu. So if you're familiar with like old school Final Fantasies how they would have the um, the ATB, the weight or active kind of settings, we can set that up in RPGA pretty easily. So let's go into our database. Let's go down to battles configuration. Scroll Scroll down, and if you see here under the counter-based battle, oh, we have these two options, pause during animation or pause during input. Now these are just checked on and off with the value. You can just turn them on and off here, or you can set them to a global switch so that you can allow the player to determine whether this is on or off. So let's go ahead and assign these to some global switches. We'll resize this. Call this one battle anim wait I guess but pause during animation and we'll call this one battle input wait or whatever you want so first one we will assign to battle anim wait second one we'll assign to battle input wait okay so now now that we have those assigned to some global switches let's go back to our user interfaces we have this options menu temp that we set up a while back we're gonna go ahead and get rid of the text element there we're gonna create a list you probably seen me do this before I'll just call this options list set up a couple items we'll call this one battle anim we'll call this one battle timer and you can see they populated it up top. Let's go ahead and, and adjust the size, get it into place. You've seen me do this before, so I might speed up through this. Okay, there we go. Something kind of like that. I'm not going to go too crazy with it, but uh, I made the main list here, and then we have a couple of horizontally oriented lists. And what we want to do is when we select one of these, it pushes the focus over to the corresponding list. So I have an anim animation sub list, which is the top one, and then an input sub list, which is the second one. And so, like I said, what we're going to do on our options list, our main one, we're going to click the top thing, battle animation. If we execute, then we are going going to push focus over to anim sublist so we're pushing focus over to this one let's do the same thing with the battle timer list and just change it over to input sublist okay and real quick before I, I forget we're gonna have go over to our loaded script uh, we're gonna go to user interface we're gonna push focus to our options list so as soon as this interface is loaded it pushes focus to our main options list okay all right so next let's go to our anim sub list and we have these yes or no options so let's go to yes let's go to execute and if we select execute on a yes then we need to change switch battle anim weight is set to on and copy that if we set to no if we execute on no then battle animation switch is set to no okay easy peasy and we'll just do the same thing with input uh, sublist so go to yes execute change switch we'll go to our battle input wait if we execute on yes it turns it on if we uh, execute on no it turns it off okay let's apply that all right let's run it and see what happens real quick so we'll go into our menu go to options we get this menu brought up we are pushed to this first list automatically if I hit the enter key on our first list then we are now pushed over to this other one this other sub menu sub list I guess I can select that and then I can go down here I can select yes or no for a timer and you can see if I I can select no and I can back out go back into our timer and no is still selected whereas on uh, battle animation yes is selected I back out I go over to select no select it back out come back no is still selected so you can you can set it up if you want to where uh, the cursor is not hidden I have uh, cursors hidden if list is unfocused um, but let's set both of these to no and then let's check and see if it affects our battle so you can see now when it's the healers turn you can see the counter has stopped for the mage and the hero so let me restart Let's set them both to yes. 
as they are by default. Let's get into a battle. And we'll try to see... Alright, there's a turn, a turn popped up and everybody could still go. Counter still going even though the mage or the healer could go, right? Got that going. You can set up more options too. Like you see here, I added a full screen option to the main list. I have it when you execute, it pushes to a sublist, FS sublist. I just made the options here, yes or no, like the others. Um, and then if you hit yes, you go to execute, you have a change graphics option under system. Uh, where you can toggle is full screen on or off. So if if yes, then the value is checked If no, the value is not checked. Okay, and you can go through there's a bunch of other options You can uh, or a bunch of other script commands you could call in one of these options Just kind of have to use your imagination a little bit and use your creativity and you can you can stack up some of these Even if you wanted to go even further, you can have resolution settings here viewport resolution that kind of thing I'm not gonna jump into all that today just uh, for time's sake but I'll just show you how the full screen option works just fine so let's open up our menu go in here we go down to full screen it pushes to the right options here the right choices go to yes we got full screen go to no we are out of full screen so okay so easy peasy very cool very simple way to set up some options for you well i think that's going to do it for today i hope that helped i hope that gave you an idea of what you can do with the options menu like i said there's a lot of different things you can go through and set up um, to really customize your menu list here uh, if you did enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like a comment and subscribe if you have not already we are getting very very close to version 1.0 i think i'm not going to give a timeline but but he is he is nearing the finish line for version 1.0 as far as features needed in there and there, then we just want to go full force on getting the documentation all squared away so feature wise we are almost there y'all and that means there's already a ton you can do with the engine as is and it's just going to keep getting better as the years go by okay so i hope you did enjoy i hope you have picked up your copy of rpga and if you haven't already it is on steam still in early access as of this recording if you've enjoyed my tutorials and you would like to support me further you can do so over at patreon.com slash bit by bit sound you can get access to over 500 songs uh, to use in your projects uh, royalty free ready to loop good to go okay so it would be much appreciated it helps me to be able to make these tutorials for you guys and to continue to make great music for you to use in your games okay all right well thank you guys so much for watching you have been amazing i have been bert and i will see you on the next one bye bye